What do you do when you get paid? What do you do when you get blessed with a financial bonus? A surprise check comes in the mail from a, from a friend, from a relative, from an institution. What do, you, what do you do? Many of you just spend it. Many of you are like, yeah, going to buy this car. Yeah, go on a vacation. Yeah, going to, you know, give it all the way to, to whoever. I'm not saying those things are bad in the right context. As long as you got your priorities straight. But most people are going to take that money and they're going to spend it on things that years later, they totally forget about it. Or years later, they're not wearing or they're not, they're not using or things that's not even going to bring money back to them at all. But they spent it and it's gone. Uh oh, come on. The first thing that I do when I, when I, come up, when I get money or, come up, or just get a big bonus from somewhere... I meditate on it. I pray on it. I say, Lord, guide me, lead me to utilize this money wisely. As the Bible says, wisdom is the main thing. With all that getting, get understanding. So maybe you're just using that money that you get to just spend on things that's not going up in value. That money could be going to your to your to your retirement retirement account, some some real, real estate, some stocks, a business account somewhere. Um, a credit union account, something that will grow it, something that will have that money multiplying. I'm not saying don't spend any of it, but you must be say, what is the, what is a wise number to use this money for? I, I want to allocate this money, you know, properly so that I make sure I'm, I'm maximizing it properly, right? Because listen, man, if, if I would the, the knowledge I have right now about money, if I would have known this when I was like 18, 19, man, I would be way further ahead financially, right? But I'm thank God, you know, sooner rather than later. But I want to make sure that that majority of my money is is I'm, is going towards investment. When I get big, a big some money coming in, I'm not thinking about spending. I'm thinking about investing. I'm thinking about grow that thing, right? <laughs> you know, and whatever's left, I'll I'll, I'll spend it on on whatever. Unless it's, it's an urgent need, I need to spend this money on something that's actually an urgent need. But many of us are using it for wants, for wants. Things that you really don't need right now, and that they go off to to the future, right? All right. So, I need to make sure that I am allocating the resources that God's given me, and is multiplying, is growing. Um, that I look back 20, 20 years from now, thirty years from now, I'm like, wow, I'm so glad that I allocated my wealth properly, so that I'm not left on the, as Myron Golden would say, the sugar bus, <laughs> right? Um. We all, I think we, I think all of us want financial peace, as Dave Ramsey would say. We all want financial peace, but it all starts with the wisdom to get with, with it, with the money, and having the right discipline so that I'm utilizing those money, the money properly, right? And I want to make sure that I am, I'm having the right people around me that will encourage me. I'm not gonna have to have broke people around me that's feeding lies into my mind, that's putting defeatist thoughts in my head in regards to handling money. Yo, yo gamble it. Yo, buy some liquor. Yo, go to the strip, strip club, man. Yo. Oh, no, that's broke people talking. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to have the, the wealthy-minded um, people around me are uh, speaking to me that's going to bring life to my life. Amen? Right? Amen? I'm, I'm trying to be in a position where I'm more of a lender or, or, or a giver more than a, a borrower, all right? And that's the best thing. Imagine you, you just give it away and you don't got to worry about it. You can give what, whatever amount you give. $200, $1,000, $5,000, come on. What, whatever. This would be more in a giving position feels good. I'm not saying if, if, if you got to, sometimes got to borrow and it's an emergency, okay, but as minimal as possible to be in a borrowing um. Um, stance or barring position I think that's the ideal thing to be able to give way more than you borrow hopefully not borrow at all if that's hopefully right um, but to just have an excess so that you are not just your blessing your family you got to think about the Bible says the the um, the rightest man will get leave an inheritance so it's children's children so um, if you end up have, having a lot of financial abundance it's not just for you. It's about after you die. After I die, we're passing that along to the next generation, right? It's just it's a cycle. So that they can have more than enough um, to do big things, do amazing things, right? Because a lot of things, everything, a lot of things needs capital. It needs it needs uh, money to, in order to run, right? Um, 
So we need we need that education. We gotta grow. We gotta get better. Um, all that is money is a tool. It's a resource. That's all it is. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but um, it's a big stress if you're not it handling it right. And it's one thing to be in an unfortunate situation where you don't have much of it, and it's another thing to be in a position. That you can have a lot, but because of your ignorance, your nonchalantness, your lack of discipline, it's not you're not where you need to be because of you. And many situations because of us that we are not in a better position. Alright, so don't spend haphazardly. Um, um, me first personally, I like to I would say I love to give, invest first. That's me give and invest then spend that's that's gonna be last me personally um so but yeah keep growing it keep developing your skills so that you can be a tremendous blessing to others and not have to worry about finances at least, at least as much as possible you want to try and reduce that worry or reduce that you know need to have to always look at the prices for things <laughs> as much as possible just just to, just to live life freely and just do, you know, do what you want in righteousness, right? To buy what you want, you know, in righteousness, of course, with, with leadership, with guidance. Um, you know, just saying you just have more than enough. Um, so it's, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So God bless you. I love you. And the Lord bless you.